News of a deadly virus began as a mere whisper in the halls of the Galactic Council, an oddity reported from the fringes of known space. But as starships unwittingly carried the unknown pathogen from one system to another, the whisper grew into a clamor of distress signals. Planets that boasted technologically advanced civilizations with impressive healthcare infrastructures found themselves grappling with the swift and mysterious deaths of thousands of their citizens. Dr. Elias Harrow, a leading virologist on Earth, was first alerted to the severity of the situation during a late-night video conference with interstellar colleagues. The alien researchers, though composed of various species, all shared the same expression of deep concern. One, a Tarkovian scientist named Valor, described how the virus resisted every known form of antiviral treatment in their arsenal, baffling their best minds. We need a fresh perspective, Elias, Valor pleaded, his voice echoing slightly over the transmission delay. Your work on Earth's retroviruses has been groundbreaking. Perhaps there's something in your methods that could be our breakthrough. Elias listened intently, his mind racing through potential strategies and methodologies that could be adapted for this alien pathogen. He knew that Earth was still an underdog in the galactic community, its membership in the Council still within its probationary first century. This could be their moment to prove humanity's worth. As the meeting concluded, Elias stood before the panoramic window of his office, gazing down at the glittering city lights below. Earth's response to this crisis could elevate their standing among the stars, or see them disregarded as a minor league player on the galactic stage. With a resolute sigh, he turned back to his desk, drafting his proposal for an international collaborative research initiative. The planet's best minds would need to come together, and quickly, if they were to have any hope of solving this interstellar puzzle. As soon as Dr. Elias Harrow received approval from the Global Coalition of Earth's Governments, he began assembling his team. He handpicked top virologists, epidemiologists, and molecular biologists from various nations, each renowned for their expertise and innovative thinking. They convened at the newly established Biodefense Research Center in Geneva, a facility equipped with state-of-the-art labs designed to handle extraterrestrial pathogens under high security conditions. The team's first task was daunting to synthesize and study active samples of the virus, sent under strict quarantine from several affected alien worlds. These samples were unlike anything they had encountered before, exhibiting a complex structure that challenged their understanding of viral mechanics. In parallel, Elias established a virtual command center that allowed for real-time collaboration with alien scientists. This setup not only facilitated an exchange of data and insights, but also helped in building trust and cooperation among the species affected by the virus. The Council species provided their own research and data, which often included advanced alien scientific techniques and tools that were unfamiliar to the human team but proved to be invaluable. Recognizing the urgency of the situation, Elias pushed his team to work around the clock. They utilized advanced CRISPR techniques to edit viral genes, conducted aggressive drug screening, and employed AI-driven models to predict viral behavior and mutation patterns. Despite the intense pressure, Elias maintained a calm and focused demeanor fostering a collaborative atmosphere among his team. He often reminded them of the stakes at play, not just the lives that could be saved, but the opportunity for humanity to demonstrate its capability and earn a definitive place at the galactic table. As weeks turned into months, the relentless pace began to yield results. The team identified several potential weaknesses in the virus's structure, insights that could lead to a viable treatment. Elias knew that the real work was just beginning, but as he looked around at the determined faces of his team, he felt a surge of pride. Humanity might just have what it takes to face this galactic challenge head on. Elias and his team set out on a crucial mission, traveling to various infected zones across the galaxy to collect additional samples and gather firsthand data. This task required them to work closely with alien medical teams and navigate through a maze of bureaucratic and biosecurity measures imposed by different planetary governments. Upon arrival at their first destination, a densely populated trade hub near the center of the Galactic Council's territories, Elias was struck by the severity of the situation. Hospitals were overrun, with patients of numerous species lying in rows, all suffering from similar severe symptoms. It was a sobering sight that underscored the urgency of their mission. Working alongside alien physicians, Elias's team collected blood, tissue, and other biological samples under strict containment protocols. They also deployed portable diagnostic kits developed back on Earth, designed to sequence the virus's RNA in real time and compare it across different species. This direct engagement allowed them to observe the pathogen's effects on a variety of biological systems, which varied significantly from one species to another. In each zone, 
Elias made it a point to hold daily briefings with local health officials, sharing insights and building a comprehensive picture of the virus's spread and mutation patterns. These interactions not only enriched the team's understanding, but also strengthened the bonds between Earth and the other civilizations, fostering a spirit of unity against a common enemy. As they traveled from one affected area to another, the collected data began to reveal patterns. The virus seemed to have a peculiar way of interacting with the host's immune system, which varied drastically among the different species but shared some fundamental vulnerabilities. These discoveries were promptly shared with the Geneva Command Center, where they fed into ongoing research and experimental treatments. Exhausted yet motivated by their findings, Elias and his team prepared for their return to Earth, their ship's cargo holds now filled with invaluable data and samples. The next phase of their research awaited, promising a deeper understanding of the virus and a closer step towards a cure. Back on Earth, the atmosphere at the Biodefense Research Center was charged with a palpable sense of urgency as Elias and his team unpacked the data and samples they had gathered from across the galaxy. The lab teams worked in shifts, processing and analyzing the materials around the clock, determined to crack the virus's secrets. Elias focused on the peculiar interaction between the virus and the immune systems of various alien species. Utilizing advanced microscopy and gene sequencing techniques, they discovered that the virus had a unique enzyme that played a crucial role in its replication process. This enzyme appeared to be its Achilles heel. The breakthrough came when the team, using a detailed molecular model of the enzyme, identified potential binding sites where a drug could effectively inhibit its activity. This was a eureka moment, the first real hope of developing a therapeutic intervention that could work across different species. Elias quickly coordinated with the computational biology department to screen a vast library of chemical compounds, searching for molecules that could fit precisely into the binding site of the viral enzyme. After several intense weeks of computational predictions followed by practical laboratory testing, they identified a promising candidate that appeared to block the enzyme in simulated environments. The team's next step was to synthesize this compound in larger quantities and test its efficacy and safety in cell cultures derived from the infected species. These tests were crucial. They needed to ensure that the compound was not only effective, but also safe for a wide range of biological systems. As positive results began to emerge from the cell culture tests, Elias felt a mix of relief and anticipation. The compound effectively halted the virus's replication without harming the host cells, a significant milestone that paved the way for the next phase, animal and then clinical trials. It was a moment of triumph, but Elias knew that the journey towards a cure was still fraught with challenges. Yet, with each successful test, the light at the end of the tunnel grew brighter, and the possibility of saving countless lives across the galaxy became ever more tangible. With the promising drug candidate identified, Elias and his team embarked on the critical phase of testing. First, they conducted rigorous trials using animal models specifically engineered to mimic the physiology of the alien species most affected by the virus. These tests were essential to ensure that the drug not only stopped the virus effectively, but did so safely, without adverse side effects. The animal trials were held under the strictest ethical standards, with constant monitoring for any signs of distress or harm. The results were encouraging. The drug successfully inhibited the virus in all tested species, and the side effects were minimal and manageable. The success in animal models was a significant milestone, boosting the team's confidence and bringing them one step closer to human trials. Simultaneously, the team initiated the development of a synthetic pathway for mass-producing the drug. Scaling up from laboratory synthesis to industrial production posed its own set of challenges, involving both the refinement of the synthesis process to ensure purity and efficacy, and the setup of facilities that could manufacture the drug under stringent quality controls. As the preparations for clinical trials began, Elias worked closely with the Galactic Health Organization to plan the logistics of administering the drug to those most in need. Given the widespread impact of the virus, it was crucial to prioritize distribution to the hardest-hit areas first. They also had to consider the diverse biologies of the affected species, tailoring dosages and administration methods accordingly. The clinical trials started with small, controlled groups gradually expanding in scope as the initial results confirmed the drug's effectiveness and safety. Each phase of the trial was meticulously documented, with constant data analysis to monitor the drug's performance across different populations. The global and galactic communities watched closely, their hopes pinned on the success of these trials. For Elias and his team, every successful test was a victory, but the true test was yet to come ensuring that the drug worked in the varied environments and complex ecosystems of the galaxy's many inhabited worlds. 
The road ahead was still fraught with logistical and biomedical challenges, but with each step forward, they were rewriting the future of interstellar medicine. As the clinical trials demonstrated compelling and consistent results, the next monumental task for Dr. Elias Harrow and his team was the mass production of the antiviral drug. This phase was critical, as the demand from across the Galactic Council's territories was immense and urgent. The production process involved not only scaling up the synthesis, but also ensuring that the drug remained effective and safe through every batch produced. Elias coordinated with pharmaceutical companies on Earth and their counterparts on other planets to facilitate the production. It was a massive undertaking that required not only technological adaptation to cater to different species, but also logistical finesse to manage the distribution across star systems. The Earth-based companies, initially unfamiliar with such a large-scale and diverse operation, adapted quickly, driven by the shared goal of eradicating the virus. The facilities were equipped with the latest biotechnological advancements to handle the synthesis and packaging of the drug in a sterile environment. Robots and automated systems were extensively used to increase production efficiency and minimize human error. The production lines were monitored 24-7 by a team of engineers and scientists, ensuring that each batch met the stringent quality standards set by the Galactic Health Organization. Parallel to the ramping up of production facilities, Elias's team developed a specialized training program for the medical personnel who would be administering the drug across the galaxy. These training sessions were conducted both in person and via virtual reality simulations, which were particularly useful for reaching remote or quarantined areas quickly and effectively. Elias also established a monitoring system to track the distribution and administration of the drug. This system utilized real-time data analytics to ensure that the drug was delivered efficiently to the regions most in need. It also helped in managing the inventory and preventing shortages in critical areas, an ongoing challenge given the vast distances and varied conditions across galactic territories. With each passing week, millions of doses were shipped out, reaching even the farthest corners of the galaxy. The logistical challenges were daunting, but the combined efforts of countless individuals and organizations turned what once seemed an impossible task into a testament to interstellar cooperation and human ingenuity. As the drug began to reach those in need, hope was restored to many worlds, and the tide of the pandemic started to turn. With the antiviral drug in mass production and distribution channels fully operational, Elias and his team faced the immense task of coordinating its delivery across the Galactic Council's diverse and widespread territories. The logistical challenges were monumental, involving interstellar shipments that had to be precisely timed and secured against potential contamination or piracy. The Galactic Health Organization took the lead in distribution efforts, working closely with Elias's team to prioritize deliveries based on urgency and severity of outbreaks. Each member planet was assigned a quota based on its population and infection rate, ensuring a fair and equitable distribution of the drug. This system required a high level of coordination among planetary governments, space fleets, and private couriers to manage the vast distances and complex import regulations of different star systems. To aid in these efforts, Elias helped develop a real-time tracking and reporting system that used advanced satellite and network technology to monitor the movement of shipments. This system allowed for immediate adjustments in response to dynamic needs, such as outbreaks flaring up in previously controlled areas or logistical complications arising from local space traffic conditions. The Galactic Council also established a series of secure storage facilities on key planets along major trade routes. These facilities served as central hubs from which smaller shipments could be quickly distributed to surrounding systems. They were equipped with state-of-the-art preservation technologies to maintain the drug's efficacy, despite variations in climate and atmospheric conditions. In addition to logistical management, Elias's team continued to provide technical support and training for local medical teams on the proper storage, handling, and administration of the drug. This training was crucial for ensuring that the treatment was as effective as possible and included updates on any newly observed side effects or resistance patterns. As the weeks passed and the drug reached affected individuals, initial reports of recovery began to filter back to the command center. These success stories were not only a relief, but also served as motivational boosts for everyone involved in the distribution process. The planet-wide recoveries led to a gradual normalization of daily activities, with trade routes reopening and cultural exchanges resuming, albeit cautiously. The successful distribution of the drug marked a significant victory in the fight against the virus and showcased the potential for unity and effective action within the Galactic Council. For Elias and his team, it was a reaffirmation of Earth's growing role and respect in the galactic community. 
a testament to the power of human ingenuity and collaboration. With the pandemic now under control, the Galactic Council convened in a special session to acknowledge those who had played crucial roles in combating the crisis. Dr. Elias Harrow and his team were at the forefront, receiving high commendation for their efforts. The session, broadcast throughout the galaxy, served not only as a ceremonial recognition, but also as a moment of collective relief and renewal for all species affected by the virus. Elias, invited to speak at the session, shared the stage with representatives from various worlds, each contributing their perspectives on the crisis and the lessons learned. In his speech, Elias emphasized the importance of cooperation and preparedness in facing such universal threats. He highlighted how Earth's scientific community had stepped up, not only in developing the cure, but in helping to coordinate a response that was inclusive and effective across planetary boundaries. Following the formalities, the Council announced the establishment of a new interstellar health task force, inspired by the collaborative efforts during the pandemic. This task force was charged with improving the galaxy's readiness and response strategies for future medical crises. Elias was asked to serve as an advisor, a role that he accepted with a sense of duty and optimism for making a lasting impact beyond Earth. Back on Earth, Elias's success had elevated his status to that of a global hero. His team was celebrated, and their story was featured in various media, inspiring a new generation to pursue careers in science and interstellar relations. Universities and research institutions saw a surge in applications, with students eager to contribute to the kind of meaningful work that could save worlds. As life gradually returned to normal across the galaxy, the bonds formed during the crisis remained strong. Trade and cultural exchanges flourished anew, with Earth now seen as a key player in the Galactic Council. The experience had not only proven humanity's capability and resilience, but it also opened new doors for Earth's greater involvement in galactic affairs. Reflecting on the journey, Elias felt a profound sense of accomplishment and responsibility. The crisis had tested them all, and though it was a harrowing experience, it had brought out the best across civilizations. Looking forward, Elias was determined to use his experiences and his new position to advocate for science and cooperation, ensuring that the galaxy would be better prepared for whatever challenges the future might hold.